is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for the 10 a.m. TFNN market update. And we're looking at the Dow up $12 at 29,301 and trying to rally a little bit more. I had a Chapman wave reading of a very high uh, trend gauge on Friday, which said that the S&P futures should rally sharply to help the market uh, within two days. Well, so Sunday night, uh, it pulled back sharply and then it rallied early this morning. Now it's giving some of that back. This is a very uh, important moment for a number of reasons. We'll go through that in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up in a in a moment. But I, let me just say that this arch formation, the dreaded H, we call it, because if it takes out the left side low, in this case, the S&P, we're looking at the low of 3584.13, made over a week ago. And uh, here we are at, uh, so far, 36.25. And uh, getting closer and closer to that left side low, the same thing with the Dow. You're looking at the QQQ index 100 trading vehicle is now, let me just put that softer, is down uh, two at 267. Uh, the left side low is 267.10. So far, the day's low is 266.57. So it's taken that out. So that's a failure pattern. It needs to close above that left side high within two sessions and say, whew, made it. But we'll see what happens there. IWM, the Russell 2000, it has it's, it's actually a lot better than most of the other indices on the daily. The weekly still looks very poor. But on the daily, it's down 38 cents at 168.27. The 163.28 low uh, made at the end of September, um, that we're still quite a bit above that. That's really important. Gold. Now this is something that uh, was uh, over the over the, from Friday, the down move Friday into the weekend, into Sunday night, going into today. Dow's down 25, also pulling back sharply after a very strong move from late September. And we're looking at the dollar, and that's probably the issue. The dollar is up 38 ticks at 113.13. Uh, that's a very, very strong move. If you're looking at crude oil, crude oil pullback, now it's unchanged at 92.65 in the continuous contract. It's a little extended. It should pull back a little more, but it refuses to do that. Now, the big issue here is that the TLT, ay, 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 it's down even more. It's down at 100.04 at 93. That means yields are going high. I'll be back with the Tiger Technicians Hour and check out my opening call date. Hope to see you in a few minutes.